guys, welcome back to Bethany Love Beauty. Today I have my April favorites video for you guys, filmed in a super laid back setting. As you can see, I have no makeup on and I'm in my Superman pajamas. What happened was I filmed this video earlier today and I just didn't like how it turned out. Um, I was so exhausted, so tired that when I re-watched the video, it was just horrible. I was all over the place and I wasn't making any sense. So I knew I had to refilm this video and when I was getting ready for bed, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was washing my face. I'm like, I need to refilm. I need to refilm. And I knew that if I went to bed before refilming that I wouldn't be able to sleep. I contemplated redoing my hair and redoing my makeup, but I was like, you know what? No, we are a YouTube family, so I thought, why not sit here in my pajamas, no, no makeup on, hair not did, and just have a chatty kind of slumber party-ish um, April favorites for you guys, because it's actually 10 p.m. right now. I just thought, you know, why not? Let's do it. So as you can see, this is my closet here um this is not the usual spot that i film in and the lighting is really off because it's dark out i don't have any natural lighting but since it's a laid back video we'll work with it the first item i have for you guys in my monthly favorites is my superman pajamas my husband and i are really late to the party but we started watching smallville um a couple weeks ago and we are obsessed with smallville I, we are on season 10 now, which is the final season, and I'm so sad about it, happy about it at the same time because I'm going to miss all the characters so much. When we start watching a series, we get so attached to the series and to our characters that once it's over, my husband and I are like, oh, oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? What's going to be our new show? But anyways, this is my favorite pajamas. Um, I am a Superman fanatic and so you better believe when I watched Batman vs Superman I was on Superman's side all the way baby. The next item I have for you is Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I did a first impressions on this foundation a couple of weeks ago and ever since that first impressions this has been my go-to foundation. I haven't picked up any other foundation since. Um, it is a medium to full coverage foundation. When I use it with my beauty blender, it offers medium coverage. When I use it with my flat top kabuki brush, it offers fuller coverage, which is the type of coverage that I have been liking lately. Um, it's long wearing and it's just great. It offers a flawless base for your makeup. And yeah, you guys should totally pick this up try it out because you won't regret it. The next item I have for you is by Victoria's Secret and it is one of their body creams in the scent Coconut Passion. I've been using their body creams ever since I was in high school and this stuff is just awesome. My husband loves all of the scents um, and I have some particular scents that whenever I wear it he's like that reminds me of this day, that reminds me of that day. So you better believe these are some of my favorite lotions. Um, this particular one, Coconut Passion, has been one of my favorites because it's been super warm here in Vancouver this whole week. Um, actually a lot of this month it's been super warm. And and it just reminds me of summer. Everything about this is summer. The smell of it, I mean the packaging of it, the name of it, I just love it. The next item I have for you is from Bath and Body Works. And it is one of their hand soaps in iced guava colada. Bath and Body Works is a staple in my home. I always have their candles, their hand soaps, stocked up in my kitchen and in my bathrooms with every changing season. The scent in my home changes as well and I just love it. It's always so festive and they have such great products. This particular one again just screams summer to me and every time I wash my hands it's like I'm on a little getaway. Next I've got Lush Cosmetics Fresh Face Mask in Don't Look At Me. I have purchased 
a couple of Lush's fresh face masks, but I've never repurchased any of them because to me, they just didn't do much for me. Um, they weren't worth it in my opinion for myself. I mean, for you guys, if you found that they were great, that's awesome. But for myself, it just felt like it was another step that I didn't need to take in my skincare regime. Um, however, that being said, um, I actually got this one for free because with Lush, when you bring back five empty pots, they give you a fresh face mask for free. And this is the one that I picked out. I will be repurchasing this one once it is gone. This face mask is supposed to brighten your complexion and it ex gently exfoliates your skin and all of that and I can really tell that after using this right away my skin was brighter and it looked more fresh and it's just all around a great face mask. The color of it is so cute it's just so pretty this bright blue all over your face the next item i've got is not going to be a surprise to you guys i've been using this product in every single one of my videos since i got it and it is the anastasia glow kit in that glow this is such a beautiful oh no i just kind of broke it with my nails sometimes i hate my nails <sighs> Anyways, this is such a beautiful highlighting palette. What I like to do is mix sunburst, bubbly, and dripping in gold together and just apply that on the top of my cheekbones and kind of around the temple area right here in this kind of C shape. These highlighters are so pigmented. Um, they blend out beautifully and it's just such a gorgeous palette. The last couple of items I've got for you guys are lipsticks. You guys know that I am a lipstick junkie. If I could have one product to have and to hold for the rest of my life, it would be lipsticks. So a lot of these are combinations, actually. Um, I've really been loving mixing St. Germain and Honey Love by MAC together. Honey Love is a nude lipstick and St. Germain is this bright kind of Barbie pink. Mixed together, they give this beautiful light pink shade. I feel like St. Germain can be too bright, but I want something on the baby or pink side. So mixing these two colors together, Honey Love and St. Germain, gives me that color that I'm looking for. The next lipstick I've got is by Stila Cosmetics and it is their... Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Baki or Bossy. It's one of those, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is a beautiful nude lipstick with a purple undertone. It's so unique. I don't have anything like it in my collection and it's just one of those beautiful everyday nudes. The formula is a liquid lipstick that dries to matte similar to that of the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and it's just so comfortable on the lips. It's not drying and they're just fantastic. The next combination I have that I've been loving this month is NYX Cosmetics Liner in Peekaboo Neutral and Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dainty. When I wear these two together, it just makes me feel so feminine and so girly. I don't know. I just love it. This right here is Nude Pink and Anastasia's Dainty. It's just the perfect balance between peach and a nudie kind of pink. That pairs well with pretty much any makeup look. Last but not least, this has been my all-time favorite lip combination for last month and pretty much all of this month. It's Soar by MAC Cosmetics along with Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar. These two lip products together make the perfect rosy nude that again pairs well with every makeup look like not go wrong with this combination 
And for the lip gloss Marc Jacobs, I have to say it is one of the best lip glosses out there. The formulation is not too sticky. You know how there's some lip glosses out there where it's super sticky and it just kind of glides all over your mouth and doesn't stay put and it's in your hair and it's in your on your clothes. Well, Marc Jacobs lip glosses are bomb. They are so good and they're so worth every single penny. You guys, if you guys haven't picked any of them up, you need them in your life. In particular, this shade right here, it's just so beautiful. It's product I have for you guys is Starbucks Caramel Cocoa Cluster Frappuccino. I have been drinking this pretty much all month. It is so good. It's mine right now is kind of melted because I was filming, but I'm still going to drink it anyway. So there you go guys, that concludes my April favorites. I hope you guys had fun during this chatty kind of slumber party-ish, really laid back April favorites video. I would love to know what your favorite products were for this month, so please be sure to mention it down in the comments, because I like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, as well as my blog, all of which will be linked down in the description. Along with all the products mentioned, they too will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you on Monday. Bye!